Should you use trekking poles or not? Let's start by looking at the science. It takes some of the weight off your legs and puts it on your shoulders, arms, and back. Plus, it's better for your joints. So your knees, your hips, your ankles will thank you. Trekking poles provide more stability and balance. Plus, you'll be less sore when you're done. And that's just not my opinion. That, those are facts that come from cooperinstitute.org. By the way, my name is Maddie, and welcome to Beer in Beautiful Places, the channel of adventure and beer. Speaking of beer, today I'm drinking this beautiful hazy IPA by Gravely. If you think it's just another beer, you'd be gravely mistaken. So I learned this new pouring technique. That was so horrible. Okay, so I didn't pour it very well. It smells very hoppy. It really tastes like tangerine or, um, or grapefruit is what I mean. It's very foamy, very smooth, delicious beer. So I wanna tell you about my experience taking them on backpacking trips and day hikes because they're both pretty different. On backpacking trips, I've really liked having my trekking poles because as soon as you put that backpack on, you're feeling kind of top heavy and having trekking poles can help you feel less wobbly. Also, when you're crossing streams, you can go a whole lot more faster because you don't have to worry about stepping carefully and not falling in. You can just walk on through, you're balanced, you're ready. Another big plus is hills because when you have trekking poles, you can picture you have handrails and you're pulling yourself up in addition to walking or just envision yourself as a four-legged hiking machine and just get that hill done. However, they can also be kind of a pain in the butt because if you have your backpack on and your trucking poles in your hands, sooner or later you're going to need your hands for something like taking a picture, grabbing a drink, adjusting your pack. So you'll have to put your poles against a tree or a rock and then that's not an even surface, so one of them slides down, both of them slide down, they fall on the ground, and you have to very carefully squat down with that big old backpack, pick them up, carefully stand up so you're not falling on your back like a turtle. It's just kind of a pain. One more thing to worry about. So when I hiked the Tahoe Rim Trail in 2019, I had them. Sometimes I was glad to have it, but sometimes I felt like, do I really need to have these? So when I hike the Superior Hiking Trail later this year, I think I'm going without them. And then how that goes will play into, will I take them when I do the Appalachian Trail a few years from now. Next, let's talk about day hiking with trekking poles. Most of the time you're going a lot less distance. You have a lot less gear to carry. So to me, they don't feel as needed. Plus, to me, because I'm carrying something, it feels like I'm doing more work. If we go back to the science that I talked about in the beginning of the video, you're really not because the weight's distributed through your whole body. So really you're working smarter, not harder. But to me, I still feel like I'm carrying something, so I'm doing more work. And because of that, I'm just not that into it. However, I want to mention two of my good hiking buddy friends that are in their 60s, AKA my parents, always bring their trekking poles on day hikes and they love it. So that brings us back to the original question, should you take hiking poles with you or not? Well, if I were you, if you have it in the budget, I would go ahead and get them and try to get used to them. They are better for you, better for your body, so it's only gonna pay off in the long run. However, if you can't get used to them, you're like me, you're just not that into it, that's okay. Put them away and in a few years, try them again and you might like them. If you really don't have the money, you're really just not into the idea, I don't think you're missing out on anything by not owning trekking poles. So what do you think about what I've said? Have you used trekking poles? Are you avoiding them for some reason? Are you just getting used to the idea? Please comment below and I will get back to everyone. I really hope this video has helped you and you can achieve whatever goals you've set for yourself this year. Speaking of which, one of my goals this year is to reach 200 subscribers on YouTube, so. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. One of my
my goals this year is to reach 200 subscribers on YouTube, so. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.